the Bitcoin ETF was approved. This led to a rise to the upside to test the monthly naked point of control at $48,725, ending in a bearish reaction and then a major drop to the downside, currently just over 10% and potentially more to come. So I've got a special, special five minute clip for you. This is two clips taken, one from the last Champions live stream that I done and then a daily morning trading update prior to the ETF approval day. And with these two clips, I want you to really understand my thought process, my plans and how I correctly predicted this reversal. Okay, I'm sharing with you these clips so you can really start to understand the insights that I have into these charts and how you can use this yourself. I don't have any sort of special magic skill or ability that no one else can learn. You know, this is what we're teaching and I just love it when, uh, you know, what we teach, what we talk about, you know, comes true in the charts. So everybody talking about the ETF we are here to show you everything was in the chart beforehand and even prior to the ETF approval, okay, which got a rise to the dump, okay, we obviously were recognizing the bullish chart, but only interested in the short trades. So enjoy this five minute clip and I'll catch up with you at the end of it. All I need to care about is the plans that I have in place to trade the charts, okay? So let's just say for the example that there is a pump on the ETF approval which leads into a massive dump to the downsides. People are going to say oh yeah it was because of the ETF right whereas from technical traders we've been waiting for levels for <laughs> months so if there is a pump to the upside which gives a very quick dump we could say that was all in the charts that was all from the charts, what we were waiting for. Whereas people that don't know the charts are going to say, oh yeah, that was because of the ETF. We could say, well, the ETF can speed up these moves. Yes. You know, I wouldn't be denying that the ETF has sped up that move. Of course I wouldn't. That'd be very naive because it would, you know, likely happen on the ETF days, right? So, you know, I'm not going to deny that. I'm not going to be totally oblivious to when the ETF is denied or released uh, or, or denied, rejected, whatever. Of course, I'm going to be aware of that. But I can say, honestly, it makes no difference to my trades, whether it's approved or denied or whatever you sort of, you know, I, I couldn't care less. All I care about is the levels that I have set up. OK, and, you know, I'm going to be able to see if there's a rejection <laughs> and I want to take a short if I'm given a setup and a reaction. Right. So, so yeah, just because the ETF is approved doesn't mean I'm going to be scared to short a resistance that I've been waiting months for, right? Okay, I could short it and get stopped out. Hey, so be it. Um, you know, I'm not going to be scared to take this trade just because it's moved into the level quickly sort of thing. Okay, yeah, but the bigger level is that monthly naked point of control. Okay, so this is definitely a level you want to have alert set for. And you'd really look for a similar setup of what potentially goes on here, right? So you'd look for this move up here. If you want to be very aggressive, then take the short as soon as you get the first pullback. Okay, alternatively, kind of wait for what's happening now, right? Form a little bit of a lower term time frame range. Wait for an SFP of the range high, then take a short. Uh, we are coming up into very, very, very big resistance zones. Okay, these naked point controls are are very big resistance zones. So um, something to be aware of, undeniably we're at massive resistance right now. Um, so that, that is another reason why I'm more interested in shorts here than longs, even though the chart is bullish. You know, I don't have any good support close by, but I do have very good resistance close by. So as we can see, that prediction was right off the rejection of the naked point of control on the monthly. You can see even on the 30 minute chart, getting the perfect wick to the upside, close back down below for the perfect bearish reaction. And I did confirm this short to my team at the time prior to hitting that monthly naked point of control while trading below it, telling my team everything's coming together, still taking no shorts. And, um, you know, I'm remaining bullish for that naked point of control target to be hit upon hitting that naked point of control target, we got a great reaction. And of course, that is a very good short trade entry. And this is the trigger. Get above 
come back down below an aggressive entry but absolutely worth it when we know the importance of this level and that is just a perfect reaction okay so there's no need to hesitate we've got the plans for it we've now got the reaction let's take the trade it's absolutely worth it and we all now see uh you know the profits that we've had from that after we've got that first little bit of a pullback from the naked point of control it was still simple remain looking for lower staying in shorts no interested in longs and well we can see the uh the big profits that we've had from this short trade now so if you want to learn how i'm doing this day in day out the strategies that i'm using you know how i'm reading the markets you can learn all of that we teach everything in the course at chart champions and later today i also have my champions live stream where i will once again cover the higher term time frame on bitcoin and some very important assets covering the next trades my bias and exactly what i'm looking for next on the higher term time frame swing trades you're going to want to be in that one it starts in a few hours time and i'll see you in that via chartchampions.com thank you and have a brilliant day